Lord Jesus, I pray for boldness and courage as the days go forth. I pray that I will not be conformed by this world, but the renewing of my spirit in your word. I pray for courage right now in the name of Jesus. Courage to the people watching. Courage not to conform. Courage to stand up for what is right. To speak against those things which are against the word of God. There are so many things in the word that will offend. Offense may come. Rise up, go Christians. Rise up, saints. There are some topics that I will be discussing later on in the future as I get the scriptures together. Just know that God is for life. Thou shalt not murder. Remember that. He is for life. He knew us in our mother's womb. And they're trying to kill babies now. God is against abortion. In the beginning, God created a man and a woman. Why? To have babies, to, to uh, replenish the earth. I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to think about this, and I know you guys are going to get very upset when you hear this. A man and a man, can they make a baby? A woman and a woman, can they make a baby? Just think about it, logically. You make the decision in your mind. Can they? No. It was against God's creation when man lay with man and woman lay with woman. So I pray God gives you courage to speak the truth. I pray that God gives you courage not to have sex outside of marriage. I pray God gives you courage not to be let the bottle be your addiction. I pray that God gives you courage to speak against those things that are not the word of God since creation. If God didn't spare the old world, which Noah was in the eighth person, because of their unrighteousness. You think God's going to spare this world? No. The time is coming. And it's coming shortly where Jesus will be coming back. And when he comes back, he's bringing his fire. And his fire will destroy the whole wor world and all its ungodliness. So it's our time to get right with God, to purify ourselves. <laughs> 